what am I gonna do? I think I need to just disappear, slip through the cracks. Sally Mae can never find me. I came to the topic from a very personal place, which is my own student loan debt, probably like many of you out there. I had gone back to grad school and had taken out a bunch more student loans to make it this nice little figure uh, in the six digits. I was having dinner with a friend one night at a cheap Vietnamese restaurant, and I was bemoaning my plight, and he offered the suggestion, oh, or you could fake your own death, and something in that conversation really clicked for me. So there is a real industry to aid you in your disappearance. One of the people I spoke to at length for the book is a man named Frank Ahern, who is a privacy consultant. And for uh, a couple dozen thousand dollars, he will help you disappear, both physically and digitally. The motives that he cited for me as to why people will typically disappear usually are financial, either because they've come into a lot of money and don't want to pay the tax man, or in his words, the ex-wife sucking him dry, or because they're trying to gain financially. A lot of people uh, who do commit suicide are attempting to commit life insurance fraud. Oftentimes there uh, will be romantic motives, there's another family or someone else in the picture, and quite tragically one of the reasons Frank cited for a lot of his female clients he helped disappear was because they were facing domestic violence situations, stalkers, violent partners, and for them he charged them nothing. I did manage to get my own death certificate in Manila. I had heard the Philippines mentioned time and again in my research and reporting as kind of a place that's a real hotbed where these overseas death frauds, usually for life insurance purposes, will take place. You can purchase something there called a death kit, which has everything you need, soup to nuts, to fake a death. Your death certificate, witness statements, police statements. Uh, you can hire mourners for your fake funeral to weep over your coffin. There are black market morgues in the Philippines where you can purchase a body to cremate immediately and try to pass off as yourself. So I knew that this was a place I had to visit. But yes, I was able to get this death certificate and the accident report detailing my fatal car crash that brought me dead on arrival to a hospital in Manila. and. Looking at that document, and it's very clerical and cold print showing, you know, the time of my death and this is the document my family would then have to take to the embassy and just really handling it, it very much gave me pause and I realized that now was not my time. <laughs> After my journey into the world of death fraud for six years of research and reporting, speaking to people who had done it themselves, speaking to family members who were affected, who either had thought a loved one or parent had died and turned out they weren't, and after handling my own death certificate in my hands, I can confidently say faking your death is probably not the greatest idea unless you have a seriously good motive, which I have yet to find. To stay dead effectively, it has to be a full-time job. You can't call your mother on her birthday because people are going to be watching your mother on her birthday to see if you're gonna phone it in, to see if you'll call her. If you had just spent the same amount of effort in your first life making that as great and as rich as you could, you'd be so much happier than you are now. So I'd say don't fake your death. I don't think there's any harm in a little fantasy though.